Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you. This is the month of August, so this is going to be your monthly readings. Thank you for all the support, the likes and shares. Please continue to um, support my channels and I'm so grateful to you guys. Thank you. I love you, Geminis. Uh, my best friends is always a Gemini. So, um... This is a wonderful month because the month is a month of inspiration. It's a month of uh, going within, finding out who you are. It's a month of uh, connecting with yourself, your spirit guides and angel. This is the month for it. As we move through the end of the year, you're going to find out that a lot of your intuition is going to become very high. In this month we have five weeks this month is the month of the hermit and the hermit is when we go in and seek inner wisdom and with that inner wisdom we are going to use that to vibrate at higher energy vibration okay so we have the energy the zodiac um, vibration of fire and with the zodiac vibration of fire we have the energy of also the earth signs and then the month so it's going to be good as I look at your month, your best week for love is going to be the first week of the month. And the second week is a lucky week for you. Luck is going to come in in the second week of August for you. In the third week, there is going to be a transformation of changes coming in your life. Changes which is going to uh, kids, new babies or will be born in for some of you people. And the, the fourth week, sorry, we have the energy vibration of... Uh, you know people trying to block you along your way and in the fifth week a secret is going to be revealed um, if you are planning on publishing a book or um, doing something with a book or information from a book or that sort of a thing is going to happen in the fifth week we are going to look at the, uh, the elements of um, the month the first week is the energy of the harder the second week is the energy of love the third week is the energy of the tower which is fire the fourth week is a good week for you guys even though that the blockage is there it's going to be lifted the fourth week is the energy of uh, the uh, uh, information coming into you a lot of information coming into you so here we are we are going to begin the first week and what we have we have the energy of the um, the energy of uh, i'm sorry i gotta get my glasses the um energy of the magician so this is good this is a powerful week the first week for you um gemini's it's going to be extremely powerful because with the energy of the magician you're going to bring temperance in your life and with the energy of the magician and temperance you're going to bring in wonderful new possibilities in your life and love this is I'm sorry I'm I'm you know love whatever is happening in the first week of August you're going to meet a, a, a soulmate or a twin flame in the first week of August you Gemini so this is going to be wonderful I love this when this comes up in a reading so the first week it's going to be extremely wonderful um, it's going to be a, a week of magic happening in your love life whoever you are out there looking for a partner the first week is going to be a wonderful week in the second week we have the energy of the organization in the um, reverse this is the energy of the um, the um, hermit the elephant in a reverse position so whatever organization that was working against you and you had people in this organization that was working against you it's not going to happen because uh, luck is going to come your way so whatever that was happening and these people in this organization was working against you it doesn't really matter luck is going to find you coming out so if you're working in an environment that people are working against you don't worry about it because luck is going to be coming out in the second week in the third week we have the energy vibration of the four of ones which is another victory and a good balance you have a strong foundation in whatsoever your endeavor is and whatsoever that was blocking you is going to be removed and you are going to have a, um, a change in position so in work you're going to have promotion 
in your personal life you are going to have changes coming in your personal life because whatever that was blocking you changes are going to come up okay changes are going to come up and this is going to be good as we move forward in the fourth week we have the energy of the daughter of pentacles which is a wonderful energy the daughter of pentacles is bringing a message of money in but the energy of justice is here so whatever that was happening um, whatever you were supposed to get you will receive it because justice is going to come in and whoever that was blocking it it's going to be unblocked okay whoever that was blocking your financial and the money that you should receive it's going to be on block because uh, um, say you are someone that your parents died and they didn't leave a will and that sort of a thing and it has to be going through the court and that sort of a thing and people were blocking you because they know you should get it but they are jealous of you that is going to be lifted up and I want to ask a question about this because um, um, this is a, you know um, I'm going to ask a question for the Gemini's for the fourth week about this daughter of Pentacles because it's like someone out there, their parents died or someone died, left them money, and it's kind of it's like people trying to block it. Let's see what is going to happen here. Yes. Oh, oh, but it's going to come to an end. There's a lot of yeah. There's going to be a, sol a solution to it um, because here. Whatever is happening is that whoever was blocking it, it was jealousy, hatred and jealousy, and a lot of um, conflicts, but yet still a solution is going to come to it. So this is good. I'm loving this. This is good. There's going to be a solution coming um, up for this. In the um, fifth week, there's a lot of messages that is going to be coming in to you, a lot of messages, and these messages can come via your spirit guides and the spirit world. Or your intergalactic family, or whoever is is uh, communicating with you, and it is about message information will be coming in to some people. If you're a writer, in the last and final week, your guides and angels are going to connect with you, and whatever your writer's block was or that sort of a thing, it's going to come out. For some people, secrets are going to come out. For some people, um, the universe is going to, um, or your guides and angels are going to tell you something that was happening that you weren't aware of okay it's just gonna come out somebody is just gonna come out so if you are going through this sort of a situation and let me find out how the situation is going to end up because a lot of information is going to be coming to you and yet you get a message a message is going to come to you that is going to tell you whatever that has been blocking and what information that has been kept from you in the fifth week information and messages will be coming out to you and um, you are going to know what is happening okay so I always like to ask questions my guides questions about certain things uh, because I really saw the daughter of Pentacles in the four week the first week is going to be the uh, first and second week is going to be your best week the third week is uh, is going to be a week of transformation let's see what is happening here because you have a good strong foundation what is happening there someone who of a mother figure is helping you and information is going to come out whoever that was fighting against you the tower came in and it's going to clear that effect in the third week so this is going to be good so whatsoever is happening in the third week whoever that was being you know very possessive and being a strong old and keeping the secret the secret is going to break the information is going to come out because the secret is going to break the information is going to come out and in the fourth week you're going to find out who this jealousy was jealousy but minded conflict but there is going to be a resolution to the situation okay so no matter of what and who try to hold you back and try to you know make a mess of your life whatever is happening it's going to be resolved love for you is going to be positive in the first week first week and second week is going to be love if you're looking for a twin flame or a soul soulmate it's going to be in the first week in the second week love 
um, luck in love luck in business situation is going to come in in the second week and this is going to be positive this is going to be extremely positive it doesn't really matter what is going on whenever you have uh, these two energies together it's going to be luck in love and whatever luck in uh, connecting with other people and whatever it is it's going to work out in your favor I've always said to people don't worry you know people say yeah and this and this person blocked me and that sort of a thing yeah but you know you know we are just little men source create and universal angel they are the one who um, decide what will happen let's see what the Sun sign or have been for you Gemini's let's see what the Sun sign for you Gemini's the Sun sign for you Gemini's let's see what is happening I really don't have my glasses I really have to go get my glasses let's see what is happening for you Gemini's okay you know the planet of Mars seems to be coming up for you Sun sign Gemini we have first of all the planet of Mars so a lot of you are going to change your career a lot of you are going to release things that no longer serve you the planet Mercury Mercurius is here he's like the magician he's gonna help you he's gonna work with you okay and then you have the cancers so whatever is happening you have the planet of uh, Mars uh, Mercury and the cancers who are going to come in to help you Sun sign Gemini so again we have the Sun sign Gemini's we are going to have the planet of Mars the planet of Mars and we are going to have Mercury and we are going to have the cancer people coming in to help you Sun people in this month as we look at the um, moon people who are the moon people those are the people who are born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and let's see what is the energies for the moon people what is going to affect you the Scorpios are coming up they have been working with you air people and Venus so there is love coming in and the Aries so okay for you moon people yeah you have Scorpions the Scorpions who are going to be coming in and you have Venus the planet of love so there again is an uh, and then we have the Aries people okay so what is happening here let's look at this very closely the planet of Venus comes up because you have also the energy of love in the first week the twin flame and soulmate relationship so this is a, a you know a perform saying yes love is going to be you guys are going to really meet your twin flame and your soulmate and as we look at the planet of Venus the planet of Venus is love and who you're going to connect with is the scorpions and the Aries people the scorpions and the Aries people the scorpion people are going to help you to understand to go within and look deeper in whatever is happening in your life and this is going to be profoundly wonderful and um, you know this is oh my hair this is a wonderful time for you guys because when I look at what is happening there is a lot of jealousy there is a lot of jealousy that is happening around um, you people but yet still love the perform of love and luck luck in love is going to be significant for you Gemini's there's a going to be a profound situation where love and luck is going to come in your life and it's going to make so many wonderful changes in your life because you know you um, the, 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 the Gemini's you guys you have two personalities and whenever you're in love you're just in love and whenever you call up on your angels and guides to bring forth your partner in relationship they always always come in so it doesn't really matter who or what is happening there's changes coming in some people will realize that your partner is pregnant there are um, there are new people coming in and you know with the situation in the fourth week where justice come in to stand in for a situation there's a lot of lies going on there's a lot of lies and eight and that sort of a thing and the vibration for you guys is I can look for things I appreciate in relationships so 
it's all about relationships for you guys it's all about relationships for you Gemini in this month and it says you cannot get the relationship of your dreams when your chronic thoughts are about relationship free anger and worries and disappointment but as you look for things you appreciate in yourself and in others as they make list of positive aspect of past and present relationship you tune your vibration offer to a new match of vibration that desire you the perfect mate must then it will come in it's a law of attraction okay it is the law of attraction so here you are you can read it yourself so this when you want to manifest a soulmate this is how you're going to manifest your soulmate you need to understand that whatever you send out there that is what you are going to be receiving so be aware of whatever you are doing and be positive the sense of being positive in your in your life is going to be um, profoundly important that um, all of you out there are being positive in whatever endeavors you are about to do in your life you need to be positive people positivity is going to play a role um, so be aware positive and uh, um, Um, what am I going to give you so this is going to be wonderful love is going to be the foremost for you guys um, love in luck is going to be um, uh, um, luck in love is going to be your focus luck in love um, so um, twin flame and uh, soulmate relationships are going to come in okay so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be a profound wonderful time and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for returning please remember to listen to the general readings and your Sun Moon and Rising and I'll speak to you next month namaste